Welcome to part five, finding people and resources, taking control of your professional development using Twitter and this five part Twitter 101 for parents and educators. So over the last uh, four parts, uh, you've learned the language of Twitter, uh, some of the basics and how it works. Uh, you followed folks, you've learned how to tweet, you've sent some of those tweets. Uh, and now we're really going to kind of put it all together. Uh, we're going to identify how, you, how educators and parents can utilize this medium on a daily basis to connect uh, with those inside their learning environment, outside in the, in the greater educational uh, Twitter world, uh, as well as anytime, anywhere professional development, whether you're at home or at work. Uh, so what we're going to do is, is kick this uh, segment off with a video from the Department of Education's Office of Educational Technology. You're gonna see some familiar faces in this video, maybe some folks that you've already followed over the last couple uh, sections of the course, uh, and maybe some other people you'd like to follow afterwards. I mean, the idea of collaboration uh, was always within education. You, know, you go back thousands of years and educators would collaborate. But technology has taken us to a level where we can, we can collaborate beyond our, our wildest imaginations. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm a connected educator. My, my journey to being a connected educator started uh, about four years ago when I joined Twitter and um, started discovering this uh, world of amazing other educators who are doing incredible things. I think we're at a very unique moment in time. It's not just that the technology has enabled these conversations, but then it also calls into question where are the core values of how teachers learn, how, how learners learn, how teachers learn, and how much do they learn from each other? It's the most impactful thing you can do in your career as an educator is to be connected. Um, otherwise, like, how do you know you're doing well? How, how, how do you know that you have support and that you're using the best tools that you could possibly use to enhance learning? I got my current job because of Twitter. I don't think I could be an educator now without being a connected educator. It has become an essential component of who I am and what I do. So for me, it's like the number one necessary thing to be a 21st century educator is to be connected. Connected to colleagues, connected to students, connected to parents even in social media. But you've still got the sort of formal mechanisms for top-down kind of information, the conference session or the professional development training or whatever it is. But you've also got this hallway conversation which all of a sudden through electronic means has become magnified into this incredible worldwide community where within minutes somebody an educator in Europe or in Australia or in Japan can be sharing ideas, they can be sharing ideas with each other. The beauty of being connected is you can plug in any time of the day, no matter where you are. And all of a sudden you have educators previously isolated now sharing information back and forth the way they would at a conference. Um, as a librarian, it's like you're the Lone Ranger. I mean, you're by yourself, you're in the library, you know, you look around for your community or your, your team and, and, the, and you're by yourself. So, um, where other subjects, you know, you get the PLA team, they meet, they have PLCs, you really don't have anyone else. So I rely on those online communities to give me that support that I can bring back to my, to my school to bring back to that culture. Uh, I can tell more than one story of working on something literally in the middle of the night and putting something out on Twitter, asking a question about a piece of software or what the term is for something in education and literally having, um, because everybody else uh, on the, in the Western Hemisphere was asleep, having people in Australia or New Zealand answer my question and just be blown away by that within five minutes getting feedback from that. Most people i found that have built a personal learning network, have sort of done it organically. They've heard about Twitter from this, or seen it on SportsCenter, they went to a conference, or this or that, and they just started broadening and developing it, and it just becomes something that they realize all of a sudden, this is transformative, this is powerful. you got to ask, you got to connect, and you got to collaborate. Well, as an educator, we're super busy, and so to meet my needs, it's really difficult to attend a training at X time or X place. So a lot of my needs are met online. It's not just connected ed and connecting on the internet, it's connecting with, with peers and other teachers and scientists and, and other experts. It really is collaboration and communication across not just disciplines, but philosophies and even practical projects is 
so crucial to us, our growth as educators. Primary advice that I'd give to any new teacher or any teacher that's feeling a little stagnant is to surround themselves with passionate educators um, from a multitude of different um, backgrounds because that's when you really um, learn and grow. We, we have to realize, you know, as, as educators, we're always telling our students we want you to be lifelong learners. Well, education doesn't stop when you get your teacher's license. You have to be a lifelong learner. You know, too often we profess it, but we don't follow it. And, and we have to get educators to consistently and constantly educate themselves. And the tools for education today lie in the technology. Get connected, grow your network, accelerate your learning. Join hundreds of thousands of educators this October for Connected Educator Month. Sign up at connecteducators.org and follow hashtag CE13. So that was a video from the 2013 Connected Educators Month uh, and the, the U.S. Department of Education's um, uh, increasing support uh, for connected educators. Um, being connected uh, is something that uh, educators uh, should be. You know, we shouldn't have separate connected educators and then educators that aren't connected. Uh, so being connected, uh, being able to share uh, what you're doing in your classroom with the rest of the world and then you um, stealing ideas um, in an appropriate way uh, from others around the world um, is something very important um, and for us not to work in silos and to work in collaboration with one another um, is a huge core value of the personal learning network or the PLN. Uh, so what I have up on the screen here uh, are my Twitter feeds um, and really this part is going to show you you know a couple shortcuts um, how um, we use Twitter on a daily basis uh, to search for items, to connect with other folks. Um, on the far left hand side is a Twitter app and this is what your app looks like uh, on your phone, on your iPad. Uh, this is the Mac uh, Twitter app. I use this most of the time. I don't use a lot of special tools. I know a lot of people use um, um, Hootsuite and they use TweetDeck uh, and they use TweetChat and Twubs, uh, but I really just use the normal tools uh, to connect. Uh, so this is my feed and it updates in real time, you know, so during the school day um, I will have that tweet up on the left hand side of my computer throughout the day uh, and be working here on the right side of my screen on, you know, other projects or email or connecting with someone or Skyping uh, whatnot, but I have that speed of professional development coming in all day long. Um, so let's go back over here to the um, main page um, on the uh, the twitter.com and in the search bar menu uh, we're going to put in a couple different um, searches uh, so the first one um, ed chat uh, again this is the most general education chat um, out there um, it's the busiest uh, you'll find it um, being used 24 hours a day you know you're up in the middle of the night uh, for somebody out in japan or australia uh, that's the middle of the day for them you know, so they are also leveraging that um, international hashtag. So hashtag EBCHAT. Uh, if you're a school principal, CP chat, connected principals chat. Uh, this puts you in contact with all of the other principals uh, around the world uh, and some of the resources and the research uh, and the leadership strategies that they're sharing. If you're an elementary educator, hashtag LM chat. Put that in the search bar and this is going to be lead you to resources from elementary educators from all over the world and you can see as you look deeper into uh, the folks that are tweeting uh, they are adding hashtags that relate uh, to what they're tweeting uh, nt chat here's uh, someone that put nt chat on the end this is for new teachers so if you are a new teacher or you know of a new teacher on your staff uh, these are resources that new teachers can use uh, immediately, you know, as uh, a virtual mentor, so to speak. There's a new teacher chat every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern, uh, led by Lisa Dabbs. Uh, and that conversation is all about supporting all of the needs of um, educators that are new to the profession. Um, depending on what school you work with, depending on the leadership at that school and what's important, um, you have a really uh, enriching mentoring experience or you have uh, one that just is 
here you are, this is your job, you're expected to perform, you know, and everything in the middle. Uh, so having hashtag NT chat there to support new teachers uh, is really valuable. Another hashtag uh, chat that happens on Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. is PT chat. Uh, this is parents and teachers. Uh, each week uh, there is typically a different expert or researcher or author uh, that joins us. We're going to have Arnie Duncan coming up in April. Uh, we had uh, the superintendent of Maryland, Joshua Starr, on last week. Uh, we've got Dana Boyd, author of um, a, a wonderful book on social networking for teens. Uh, she's coming up later this spring. Uh, so throughout the weeks, you'll uh, learn from different people around the world doing great things for kids. There are many other hashtags, as you know, um, at Jerry uh, Blooming Gardens, uh, A to Z, official hashtag list. Um, I know he worked on that with um, some other colleagues, uh, Tom Murray. Um, that's a great resource, you know, and, and there are hashtags being added to that um, every week. So, you know, so certainly bookmark that, have that at the ready. Uh, if you are um, in a state looking for your uh, state hashtag, uh, there is a link uh, on the course resources here. Uh, to provide you with the hashtag map for all of the states, you know, and in that map you'll find the link uh, to the website for that state hashtag chat. You'll find folks to follow within your state, uh, and and also the time and date when those chats occur, so you can join the conversation. Again, expanding your network uh, from your school or your district out to uh, the rest of the state, the rest of the country, the the rest of the world of educators. Uh, and we're all working together uh, to benefit kids, uh, we're going to be able to be more impactful. We're going to be able to deepen our lessons. We're going to be able to knock down the uh, brick and mortar walls to our schools and create virtual uh, walls and, and glass schools and, and allow parents and the community and other educators to look in, uh, learn from the great education that's happening in the classroom uh, and enrich those uh, teaching and learning experiences uh, later on in the home. Congratulations, you've come to the end of the Twitter 101 e-course for educators and parents. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about Twitter during this five-part series. Uh, if you have any questions or if you need any support moving forward, feel free to ping me at Joe underscore Mazza. Uh, I encourage you to use the new teachers to Twitter hashtag, hashtag NT2T, uh, and that is, again, a virtual support group for people new to Twitter. Uh, so anything that you tweet, make sure that you have that hashtag at the end of it. Uh, you can also feel free to add hashtag EdChat. Um, I hopefully will see you on Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern for PT Chat. And again, this is Joe Mazza. Thanks a lot for hanging in during this five-part Twitter 101. A course for educators and parents. Take your time, keep calm, and tweet on. See you out there in the Twitter sphere.